the deep sea fishing hub and luck of the doors full globe trotter I have sold my Santa hat for 10 mil over what I bought it for so we um, and then I put it right back in for 10 mil under so we're gonna test out flipping Santas as a side source of money as well as PVM and clues so hopefully I'll be up to max cash stack soon so that that is the next goal for me now that I've hit a bill max cash is the next step all right let's jump into it <clears throat> there we go um, I, I have a chronic problem with hitting the time limit um, for, for my recordings I can only do 15 minutes with this current setup and I'm too lazy to get a new setup plus I should be able to do it in 15 minutes um, this also limits my clues, the clues that I can possibly do in a video. Um, either that or I have to change the way I do clues. So I could, you know, I could probably sit here and just look at the money and then if it's below 150, reroll, whatnot. But <clears throat> I also like talking about other stuff, so it sort of slows it down. So it's a give and take. The bank is uh, pretty wide open. I went and sold a bunch of stuff or dropped a bunch of stuff that I don't use. Went and cleaned it out. Dang, decent amount of decent amount in the first few clues. Um, a clue, hard clues are on average nice. We got a master. Hard clues are on average about 500k. Um, so in a hundred clue opening, that's 50 mil, right? Yeah, 100 clue opening, that's 50 mil. Um, and it takes me about, oh, all right, focus up. Can't, there we go, we'll roll that. Um, 100 clues takes me an afternoon, probably. Um, that's without, like, I don't use a Tesla, old at coil. I don't use an old at coil for farming hellhounds. I just do melee. Um, so I'm pretty sure Camel Staff, Old Act Coil, and uh, AOE Familiar would be a lot faster for collecting hard clues. But I, you know, I enjoy being able to take a break, and I'll it'll take me 40 minutes to do 25 clues, and then probably an an hour, 40 to an hour to collect another 25. Um, so I can do homework or go eat or something like that and collect those clues 154 that's borderline <clears throat> so i can do an episode one after the other if i really wanted to but i will stop and spend a few hours on my uh my um, on a bounty on my bounty that's right so i like doing racks i need my middle leg piece to complete the leg and then I have um, two eye hilts and a web I'm probably going to disassemble the web for a Knox component and put the eye piece on the leg for a staff sell the staff so I've been doing about 15 racks kills a day um, and then re-rolling my bounties for racks every time but still no middle leg piece 185 we'll get something worse there's a master, nice. I toyed with the idea of doing elites um, because I really, you know, I want to have a chance at those big item drops, the blood, third age, and all that, ice dies and stuff. Um, but the more I looked into it, the more, and plus, like, I hate doing elite clues. 157, we'll get something worse. Like, they have the clues where it's like, all of Gillenor and you have to look at the arrow and follow the arrow and you telly jump you're tellying around Gillenor basically and I really don't like those clues um, and you can't do enough of them for your globetrotter pieces to fill up fast enough to be like of any help um, then you have like Taverly Dungeon search um, clues where it'll like you know you have 30 spaces around you and you have to go find the thing and you're looking at your feet for the beeping to speed up or slow down and all that but 
since there's it's you it's not like you can memorize the solutions like for for hards i've memorized all the coordinate clues it took me about a thousand clues but now like i don't need to look at um a side window to look up which coordinate clue is being used nice for puzzle skippings i don't need to do that anymore i just i have all the coordinate clues memorized all of the anagrams um, and then, of course, if any coordinate clue above, like, 1750, above 17 dash, 50 dash, you know, I think you, it, if you do clues, you know what I'm talking about. Um, any clue above that is in the wilderness, except for one, but I don't bother learning that one. So then I just um, roll the clue to a new step. And then all the anagrams, I roll the anagrams if I have two re-rolls or more. Nice, there's a master. Um, another master, very nice. So I'd rather do, I'd rather farm a bunch of hard clues. I know they have less chance at a master per clue, but I'd rather farm a bunch of hard clues and then just hopefully get a big stack of masters and um, have a shot at the big drop, the big dies that way instead of farming elites but who knows eventually i'll burn and get burned out on hearts and um i'll probably go to shadow creatures pick up their souls go to my player owned slayer dungeon and start working on a you know the best way to get through elites and farm elites and all that but I hear they take a lot more time to farm, so I'm not a huge fan of sitting there for that long. I like to be doing stuff. Um, yeah. Well, we're coming on coming up on the last 50 clues. We had that shadow die a couple videos back, so I I know I understand that that doesn't decrease my chances of getting a die, but I in no way you know expect to die we'll get something worse than 156 there it is you know but like still you still have that shot you still have a chance of getting another what was it circa 700 mil it sold for above like way above mid like a couple like i think it was 35 mil above mid the shadow die sold for that much so <clears throat> people are buying them dang i was three clues in a row less than 100k it's even more rare to get a string of low clues than high than it is to get high clues for hearts. Pretty consistent money going on. Mm, we'll keep it. Yeah, whatever. I'm not worried about losing seventy k or whatever. Nice two masters back to back. I think that was. And of course, we'll roll that and that. <clears throat> I think I called it at, an, at another 700 clues from me getting that last shadow die. I think I have done, let's see, about 300 clues since then. I open up all my clues in videos, so it's easy to count back. But I'm calling it circa 700 clues from the last shadow die. Roll both of these. 29 clues. We are coming up on it. I need to work on my time management with these videos, so I think this will be a better uh, option for sort of. I'm talking, but then I'm also going through clues and looking at their contents and total value and gauging whether to roll or whatnot thing about doing videos like this is it's not like you can redo it it's like if i were to record a racks guide um which i did the way that i do racks i did a little video on it i can't i can't re -rec i can re-record uh, the racks guide but i can't re-record uh, a clue video just because you don't get to repackage the clues you know once you open them you open them you get one shot at this <clears throat> And then again, I see, you know, make do his clue vids and uh, it's all about clues. 
and I'm not a huge fan of those just because like it's almost like you know if in class your teacher tells you don't read the board um, during a presentation it's like you can bring note cards but don't read directly off the board because we all can read that's sort of how I feel about these videos it's like y'all can see with your own eyes what I'm getting um, now I might be super happy at a four puzzle skipping drop but other than that like I'd rather talk about other stuff so all right we're coming up on the end 606 with a master very nice let's see 16 masters currently I like to get over 20 before I um, start doing them just because you know I have to refit my inventory and what I'm wearing and stuff like that <sighs> And it takes a little bit because I'm, you know, I do a bunch of hards and no masters. So when I do do masters, I will have to stop at banks like four or five times. Comes like, oh, I remember, I need my uh, Tackle Zoe that ring for going to the Kiln Clue, or oh, I need these tokens like the lockbox tokens or this or that. All right, last two. Roll that. Last one. Yeah, we'll roll. Why not? Hey, all right. Some costume skippings. 100k each, I think they are. All right. Well, decent amount of money. Nothing dropped on the floor. Hello, ma'am. Let's look at her. Aroha. Fletching gang. Weak. All right. Let out. Peace. See ya.